Don't you dare walk away from me. Don't tell me you're sorry. And don't tell me to forget about it. And don't you dare tell me to let it go. God knows, I wish I could. I wish I could, but I can't. I can't deny that we have something special, Caesar. And you're just running away. You're running away. Don't you get it? You're running away from what I've been after my entire life. Why? Because you're scared? Well, I'm scared too. But you and I, we have something worth fighting for. We can make this work. I'm not saying it'll be easy, but I care about you. And I know that deep down beneath all that bravado, you care about me. And that's what it's all about. Don't, don't you see, Caesar? It's the human experience. You can deny it all you want, but you are only lying to yourself. You're denying the simple and wonderful fact that you're emotional and vulnerable and alive. What the hell are you going to do with this? What does it look like? You can't really be this blind, Caesar. You're damn right, I'm not. I just don't understand why you're doing this. I thought you'd forgotten all about this. Forgotten about what? Huh? That the governor killed my brother? That he sent an army to murder my family? How could I forget about something like that? That's not what I meant. What did you mean, then? Look at this. Two days, 23 hours. In 30 seconds, that is how long I have to kill that son of a bitch. If I waste even one more second, I am dead, so get out of my way! Iris, Iris! You think killing him will make you happy? You think your life purpose will somehow be fulfilled? Listen to me! Iris! If you do this, you're going to die, period. I'm as good as dead anyways. I swear, Iris, if you take one more step, out. You'll what? You'll what, Caesar? You'll stop me? Take a good look at yourself. Your life <laughs> is fucking shit. I mean, you, first of all, you trusted your best friend, and he betrayed you, the one person you trusted in this shithole. Your home was destroyed. Your life is in shambles. You got nothing. You have no one. I mean, honestly, the only good thing going for you right now is this conversation because you are all alone. Heck, if I was your father, I would have left you too. Oh, oh God, Caesar, um, I'm, I'm so sorry. I didn't. Yeah, that's so. I swear to Kronos, Caesar. Nothing I said was true. I'm just overwhelmed by everything, that's all. Look at me, Caesar. Look at me, please. From the moment I first laid eyes on you, I knew you were going to be someone special. You're the only thing in my life that matters, Caesar. You've been there for me since the beginning, and I love you for that, but I have to do this. I can't waste what little time I have left wallowing in sorrow. I have to do what I came here to do even if it means not seeing you again.
What about us? There is no us if I can't do this. My entire life has been a race against the clock. For the first time, everything has caught up to me. My name is Stephanie Curvis. I am a small but mighty five foot two. I'm over 18 and I am Iris.